I want to share with you about HUDs, which stands for Heads Up Displays. These are special attachments. I'll open my inventory and you see I've already search for HUD and there's a number of them which I have. They do various things. For example, let's, oh, oh, there's a bug that keeps scrolling me upwards. This is so annoying. Okay, there. Now this is a photo frame. I can right click it and wear it like any other attachment, except it always appear right on your screen like any other interface control. So it wouldn't move around with my avatar. If I stand up, this one is a special photo frame for photo effects, which is a good example because I can click it and you notice it looks like I've got a little Polaroid. Now what you can see here under the view menu is you can show and hide these attachments. And you've got about eight places to put them. Let's see, there's more you see, and these are the different HUD places you can put them. And they're just basically any sorts of gadgets, I'm just touching the surface here that you can put on your screen and add additional controls. Often they come with avatars, buttons, landmark tools, all sorts of things. So this helps me take a picture. I might as well hold Alt and zoom in and take a nice picture. I look kind of serious. Come on, smile, Torley. Yeah, snapshot. And you see, it doesn't show up. Oh no, why? Because show HUD objects and snapshot. You click that and I've got to redo my smile. But now, watch this. Now you see it. Okay, I can just discard that. No worries, this is just an example. Right click and detach it. Uh, so I've gone to a friendly conversation with Casey Bar Babi. Okay, I can go back to my inventory and search for HUD again. I'll show you another example. Let's see here next. And I can have, for example, this is one that helps with landmarks. This is part of the Winter Festival. Again, I wear it. And the familiar thing, of course, is it shows up right here. Now this one shows me several specific landmarks. Aw, much. <laughs> I love Second Life. And it shows me a bunch of these landmarks and I can click on them. You notice when I right click an HUD, I can move it around to reposition on my screen in case you prefer the left corner, for example. Move it back, fine grain it. And then if I click on any one of these, it will give me a greater description and I can go there with a landmark. See if I teleport and I can discard it. So it can serve as a, a sort of a favorites list, like your your bookmarks. That's another example. So while I res in here, as you can see, I've got quite a collection of these HUDs. Each one does a different thing. You can script. They are basically objects which just stick on your screen like that. So a lot of the scripting functions will work. I think some, some will not, like particles. And set text, for example, will be limited, as it always is anyway. <laughs> but you can just Let's say I right click and I wear it. And it should come up shortly after it's done loading. Sometimes it takes a while. Oh, the calculator one is fun. Let me get my calculator. Right click and wear that. Oh, yeah, that's for rating things. So if I gave something a thumbs up. But let me see the calculator. I'm just going to move this down to the center of the screen so you can see it's configurable. I've got the nice water going on. It's very peaceful. Of course, you can clear it. And it uses that set text. So it's not a fixed width font, but you can you know, multiply it by you know, 44, that's a good number. Equals fun little gadgets, desktop widgets, things like that. Right click and detach it. So obviously the bigger a screen you have, the more HUDs you can fit. I'm going to show you a classic one I did. It's not scripted or anything, but it's a frame effect. Some residents really like these for the snapshots. I think it's a classic video game HUD. Click and drag it into the world. Oh, it's an old build zone. Uh oh, I'm gonna run into problems. Let me fly somewhere where I can build. Come on, come on. I think I'm gonna have to go a while. Ouch! That was not nice. Okay, right here. Blessed be. Let me right click and drag and drop this into the world. You're gonna see what it looks like on the ground. It looks like a big gray box. What well, hasn't rezzed yet? I hope it does soon because it looks like one of my favorite classic video games. As you can see, I just textured all the sides. You will not see all the sides because it's facing you directly. Let me close this one too. Okay. Now, you see what happens if I right click it and it's already been set to go on to an attachment point. So if I go to right click and, well, sorry, right click, it should have where on that award. It should be under more and where. Then it fills me up like a frame. I can push 
Control Alt 1 to hide it so you can see what it looks like in its full glory. That's also under the client menu. Client menu, rendering types, oh no, features, UI. See, hides it, shows it again. And then you can see I walk around like this. Of course, it's a little hard, um, it's not centered. That's why I had to position myself for photos like that so I can drop back on the ground so you can see exactly what it's like. If I were to create a new object, right click, create. A fun exercise is you make transparency, say 50, right? And color, because I like pink like that. Texture, I have a good one called glass nosed, which I like. I think it's in there. It's sort of blue, so it's gonna have a purplish tone. And watch what happens if you right click, more, then you want to attach HUD, and then say top. Top is usually fine as a starter. You can move them around however you want. Wait a few seconds. And you see, if I use the mouse wheel right now, I'm using the mouse wheel, it zooms out. So this white outline represents my screen area. If I want to show it fully in the center, then I can align it here, close to it, and I can use the mouse wheel. Zoom back out. Oh, it's a little bit off. I think it's something that was off with the scaling. That's a bit of a bug, but you can see right here that there we go, right in the center. And then I can continue to, I can hold down control and spin it a bit so you can see other faces. I can change your face's color so you can see the difference. It's still a three dimensional object that hasn't changed, but you just see what's flat in front of you like that. And then if I make it really big, of course, you can still stretch it. You can change the sizes of things like that. It can block the screen and it can be sort of a, sort of like looking through one of those 3D glasses, you know. It's kind of funny that way. Now, when you walk around, since the HUD is fully covering your screen, oh, good, that's gracious. Let me take my thing back. Change the, oh, the problem is, you see, it's hard to select what's in the world. So often, you probably need to, to remember, you need to hide them. Then, whoop, then you can take that back, then you can go back and show them or Alt Shift H, which is a quicker shortcut. One of the most fun usages of HUDs, these heads up displays, is to use them with avatars that have extra features like this tiny Ponymatic one. Ponymatic, isn't that cute? You wear it, okay it shows up here. I can move it, move these arrows, just the left hand side, upper left, whoop, just there, okay. And what do these buttons do? Well, they control my body language. I want to express myself. This is an alternative, of course, to typing out gestures or clunking around in inventory. It's just simpler to kick. <laughs> and I can laugh. Ponies like to jump fences and whatnot. Oh, there you go, little pony. And you can, of course, yes and no. And no, we disapprove. It's come with sounds. It's very fun. So that's the additional usage of these heads up displays. The term heads up display is borrowed from vehicles. And here we have some automobiles, some fine examples, these Toyota cars in Second Life. I can click on one and then test drive. This is not meant as a commercial endorsement. This is merely an example. Now I can click on this and you see it says get HUD. Well, after you click it, I keep it and I go to my inventory and I see it and I would like to right click and wear it. So it appears right there. You see something, it's like a speedometer. I'm going to move it down a little bit because it's a little bit cut off. It varies with screen size when you have HUDs where they're positioned. Now I right click and I drive it. You notice I can change the colors. It's currently like sort of a, a silver, I think. And I can, aww, my wife loves me too. Hmm. And I right click, <laughs> I just click on any of these colors to change it. I'm all love struck now. Click it to black, for example. But I like red because red is a lovely doovy color. And then I drive off. I drive off. You can change the tires too, the texture of the tires. This is very handy. This is fun. Let's see. And then it shows how fast I'm going. Ooh, I've got a few minutes. This is just a demo. Watch the arrow. Let's see, it goes up. Ooh, whoa. And that's how we play with heads-up displays! I'm on my way, honey! <laughs>